Welcome to dealing with materials data, we are looking at the collection analysis and interpretation of data from material science and engineering. And we are in the module on data processing and in this session we are going to talk about bootstrap method uh, which is one of the methods uh, to um, get the accuracy or uh, estimate of the quantities um, without actually knowing anything about the probability distribution because uh, in the other methods where we have data and if we know what probability distribution it comes from then you can give better estimates for intervals and so on. But if suppose you do not know anything about the underlying probability distribution and you cannot make any assumptions, is there a way to get an estimate, interval estimate and that is done using the bootstrap method. Uh, it is a distribution free method, so we are not making any assumption about the distribution from which that data is sampled. Uh, Berenson in his student's guide to error and data analysis uh, gives uh, details of the bootstrap method uh, which I strongly recommend that you go through. Uh, the idea in bootstrap method is as follows, you consider the given data, there are n independent measurements of equal weight, uh, but we do not know from which distribution this uh, data is sampled. So, this is the assumption that we are making, we are assuming that there are n independent measurements and they are all of equal statistical weight, uh, just that we do not know the distribution. To accurately calculate the mean, uh, you need to know the distribution from which the mean comes, which means you need several such samples. And uh, bootstrapping method is a method to generate such samples from the existing data set. It does that by sampling the data with replacement and so you sample it thousands of times for example, you will see an example and then from that calculate the uh, distribution for the mean. And so, from each of these data set basically we are calculating the average and then getting the distribution for the average. Notice that because we are sampling from the same data with replacement, you cannot really get any more information about mean or standard deviation from the data, it is the same data. So, this mean and standard deviation do not change at all. The reason why we are using the bootstrap method is to get the confidence intervals for the given value, like what is the probability that the mean will lie in this range. One also has to be careful because we are using the same data set, the minimum value and maximum value are fixed. So, all the data sets that we generate by this random sampling will also have the same minimum value and same maximum value, which means if there is any contribution from the tail that comes. Uh, you will be missing out on that information. Now, having said that it is still useful to use bootstrap to get uh, confidence intervals and uh, we will show an example, we will again take the ATP copper conductivity data, we will not assume that it is normally distributed because if you do then we have seen how to get uh, the confidence interval assuming that the standard de deviation is known and assuming that the standard deviation is not known using either normal standard normal or T distribution. And now we just want to do it completely using data, we do not want to assume anything about the underlying um, distribution. So, can we get the confidence interval? So, for that we have to use the bootstrap method, let us do that. And for doing that uh, I also recommend that you go through this uh, chapter 3, a guide to R for bootstrap confidence intervals uh, by Professor Brett Larget and it is part of a statistical course and it is available. So, please do take a look at it and this tutorial is basically based on uh, that chapter. So, let us first take our data and calculate the mean. So, that is the first step. Okay. So, we read the data and we calculate the mean conductivity. Right. So, that is 101.32. Now, we are very familiar with this data set. So, we know that that is the number. So, then what we are going to do? We are going to generate 1000 bootstrap data sets, right. Okay. So, let us do this. So, what does it do? So, we are going to generate 1000 data sets. Those are the boot samples. So, from the sample that the data that we have, 
uh, and in each one we are going to have the same number of data points 20 data points and it is uh, done by sampling with the replacement. And then we are going to calculate the statistics for the data sets that we have generated, 1000 data sets that we have generated, right. So once we have done that, of course we want to analyze what is it that we have got and for that we are going to um, use this. So what is this? Let us take a look at it. So first we are going to plot the statistics from the bootstrap data that we have got and we are going to calculate the error and uh, using the error uh, we are and, and this strange formula here is to make sure that we have the error with the right uh, um, significant digits and uh, then we are going to say uh, the confidence interval with so much probability that the data will lie uh, in this range. So that is the um, yeah. So you can see that uh, the data generated by bootstrapping and the distribution that uh, the that histogram follows and you can also see that the confidence interval is 101.2 to 101.4. Uh, which is uh, the same as what you got uh, from the T and normal. Uh, so this is the confidence interval within which the mean will lie. So um, to summarize, in addition to knowing the distribution from which the data comes and so you can uh, estimate the interval, uh, there are distribution free methods as part of robust methods uh, you can use to get an idea about the confidence interval. So this uh, uh, brings us to the end of uh, this uh, uh, module on uh, data processing. So we will summarize it in the next session. Thank you.